California and we're going to take a tour of the famous Chinese theater and see all of the impressions in the concrete of the famous Hollywood stars. Here's John Wayne. He made a fist impression there and there's his boots. It's amazing how small John Wayne's foot is. That was made in 1950. Here's Hugh Jackman. He's got a pretty big foot. Here's Robert Downey Jr. Gosling and Emma Stone from La La Land. That's a few years old. Here's Tom Hanks. About the same size foot. Sandler. Hi to everyone. Love Adam Sandler. Looks like Last he chance now, ladies and gentlemen. Last chance. We're going to begin a tour in about four minutes now. Looks like he wore tennis shoes. Kevin Costner. one for the Hunger Games with Jennifer Ladies Lawrence. Ladies and gentlemen, three minutes left. We have just three minutes to go. This one is Robin Williams. Carpe Diem, Seize the Day, 1998. He's got a wide foot. All right, so here's the one I was looking for. Johnny Grant was kind of like, maybe still is, I'm not sure, but kind of like the unofficial mayor of Hollywood. And he's the master of ceremonies for all of the impressions here at the Chinese Theater and also for the stars on the Walk of Fame. The interesting thing about Johnny Grant's impression is he's not a celebrity, he's not a star, he's not a movie star or anything like that. He's just a personality that hosts these events. Well, they gave him a chance to leave his impression, and whenever he did it, he was so nervous that he misspelled his name. He left out one of the ends on Johnny. So that's pretty funny. He's the only guy here that misspelled Anyone his name. Anyone holding a ticket for the tour? Anyone holding a ticket for the tour? So I'm looking for Marilyn's impression. I'll find it soon enough. This one is for Jack Nicholson, 1974, and he's been famous for a long time. About the same size. This is Star Wars, with R2-D2 impression, C-3PO, and Darth Vader. See how big Darth Vader is. Not the same size. 1977, I think it says. All right, so this one's kind of different. It's Harrison Ford. But notice how much real estate he has, and he didn't write any quotes or anything, but he's taken up a lot of real estate here with a lot of blank space for just his hands and his feet in 1992. Oh my God! <laughs> 
Clint Eastwood, 1984, you made my day. No foot impressions, just his hands. Mel Gibson, 1993. I wonder if he would get one these days with his reputation now. This is Paul Newman and his wife Joanne Woodward. So let's see, she's got high heels on, that's a neat impression. And then he did his barefooted, that's a rarity. You don't see many of them doing it barefooted. 1963. Roy Rogers and Trigger. So that's neat, they put the horseshoes and the pistol and the boots. He's got a small foot. Look how small his foot is. Wow. This is a neat one. It's for the Avengers. Mark Ruffalo, Robert Downey Jr., I think. Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth. Scarlett Johansson. Here's John Travolta. He made some deep impressions with his boots. It's great to be here. Thanks. John Travolta. June 2nd, 1980. Quentin Tarantino, it looks like January 5th, 2016. He wore some shoes that has imprints on them that made some kind of impression on the concrete. This is a nice neighborhood here. Vin Diesel with some very unique shoes for his impression. And then Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Didn't put the rock in there. I wonder why. Let's see how big. He's got a big foot. And then Sandra Bullock. She wore high heels. 2013. And then Jackie Chan. He did his barefooted. Okay, I found what I was looking for. Here's Jane Russell and Marilyn Monroe from Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. They both wore high heels when they were doing their impression. This is um, 1953. Now the thing about Marilyn's is when she did hers, she put a little fake diamond right here in the, to, to dot her eye, but it was stolen shortly thereafter. I'll see if I can find a picture of it and put it in here. Marilyn Monroe and Jane Russell. Here's another beauty, Sophia Loren, 1962. She wore high heels too. And then right next to her is Charlton Heston, 1962 also. See how big his foot is. A little smaller than mine. Here's one of my favorite actors, Kirk Douglas, 1962, November 1st. A little smaller than mine. Steve McQueen, thanks. March 21st, 1967. Dean Martin, 1964. Oh, Small foot. Oh, 
Jerry Lewis. 2014. What? It says January, February, March, April. April 11th, 2014. That's crazy. You would figure he would have had one a lot sooner than that. Ladies and gentlemen, our next full tour is Michael Keaton. Hard to make out that. Maybe 1992. Not real sure if that's what that is or not. Yep. Here's Cary Grant. 1951. Not a very good impression on the shoes. Not very deep at all. Eddie Murphy's got a big piece of concrete here. B3, 1987. Sort of small foot. He's got a lot of concrete there. Here's George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. They've got a big piece of concrete, but they didn't write anything, so it's a lot of empty space there. That's a waste. He's, George Lucas has a small foot. Look how small that is. Steven Spielberg wore some unique shoes to do his. Harrison Ford again a lot of concrete but didn't write anything so there's a lot of wasted space there 1992 Bigfoot George Clooney 2007 Jerry Weintraub I'm not sure who that is. It's just initials, it looks like. I'm not sure. And then right over there is Matt Damon. Let's see if I can get in here. Oh, sorry. Okay, here's Matt Damon. Wide, big foot. That's a wide foot. And then here's Will Smith, Change the World, 2007. Bigfoot, Bigfoot. Here's another of my favorite actors, Gregory Peck. 1949. Small foot. To my friend Sid, Mr. Hollywood, Gregory Peck. Meryl Streep. She wore some different kind of shoes instead of high heels. 1994. Here's Miss Whoopi Goldberg. She put her dreadlocks in the concrete. 1995. <laughs> concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you ever get a chance to make it to Hollywood, I suggest you stop by and take a look.